What's up YouTube family? This is Amir Mustafa. Today we'll be learning Node Version Manager. It is also called NVM. If you are a Node.js developer, this video will be very interesting to you. And it is also a quick video. So what is basically an NVM? Basically it means you can manage multiple node version easily based on your project. So if you are already working in a Node.js project, it means one of the version is already there in your system. If I assume it is Node.js 18, one of the latest version, then why do we need NVM? Correct. So what we know now that we can manage multiple node version, you need 12, we can get you without actual pain of uninstall and install of that node which we did in the first time so why nvm so if you are already working in a project a and you have installed node version say 18 for that now you have been assigned in your work your company a project b but that project requires legacy version of node say node.js 12 and you are parallelly working in the project A as well. So that time you are not going to uninstall 18 and reinstall 12 and vice versa. Again going back to project A, uninstall and install with a regular way. That is very tedious, right? So here comes NVM. NVM will be like a savior. So you can easily with one line of command, you can switch with 12 you'll say go to 12 it will change to 12 go to 18 it will go to 18 and any other version of node so where do i use nvm so i was also i have also recently i have been using recently nvm sorry for that so why i'll show you one of my structure okay i'll close this so in my current project what is happening Okay, we have a front end, so we are actually having four servers. Four servers means four terminal running, correct? So I'll leave out the front end. So back end is Node.js, so it is developed with Node.js 12. Now we are having Azure function, okay? So behind the scene, what happened? Azure function use runtime version 3 and Node.js version 12. Both of them are using this 12. Now what happened? Azure function is a product of Microsoft. Now what they say, we have to upgrade to Node.js 18 to run it smoothly. I think 12 is retiring for that. So for uh, as it is, this project is already in production. So now it is requiring asking for Node.js 18. So think, think in the same project. We have to use Node.js 12 and Node.js 18 now. Obviously, we'll be moving this to Node.js 18, correct? But not in, it will require proper migration. For the time being, what we have to do now? NVM is the solution. So what will happen? When we run this server, we get it directly say use 18. When we run this, we say directly Node.js 12. Obviously, we'll be running this and uh, migrating to 18. But think from that point of view. You are in project A, project B, project C. Project A requires latest version, say 18. Second one requires, uh, say 14. And the one is the older one, suppose it requires Node.js 8. So that time, version switching becomes very easy. Uh, this video is for both all the OS, Mac, Linux. And Windows. I'm using Mac system, but we'll be seeing all of them. So see, first step is we'll go by the official website. We have official website for the both. Okay. What is it? And it's very simple. You need to follow the steps itself. And it is handy over here. Suppose you want to use it. The first step is uh, I'll be doing first one with Mac. Mac and Linux follows both Unix terminals, so it will be same. Take out one of your terminal. I'll show you.
think I've already taken out. Yeah, this one. When you start the terminal, you'll be here in your home page. Now, what we need to know is uh, if you are Windows, uh, if you are in Windows, you can skip this. But uh, I think both the process will be same with the Windows. We'll be just installing the .exe file. We'll be seeing. I'll guide you there. And in the end, this will be the final thing that NVM will run. Okay. Now I will. Okay. The idea is we have to create an NT dot NM this one NVM RC file. Okay. You'll ask why do you need to create because uh, the NVM will manage node version from here itself. And Windows guys uh, will be installing a software that will automatically create that file. So it is already there, but if it is not there, we need to just enter this command touch dot nvmrc. We know that we can create file using this nvmrc. I'll create something else abc dot abc. Okay, so ls la you will see that abc is now created over here. Earlier it was not there. That's the first step. Second step is you just need to copy this command from here. So, but uh, actually, where you have to, to take this command, click this install and updating, you will find curl command here itself. Note that current at the time of recording 0.39 is the latest version. So eventually it will come. It's better to take from here itself. We will copy from here. Let me paste clear this. Paste. Enter. So for me it will say already installed. Correct because I've already installed it. So for you what it will come. Uh, do you want to continue? Say yes. Enter your password. Enter. And it will install. That's it. And the most important step is once it is done, we need to close the terminal and restart again. This one is different one. New window. Okay. This will come. The idea is when we write NVM like we do with git. If it is not installed, it will say undefined. It is not defined as internal external command. Once it is installed, we will see this 0 0.39. Your terminal now knows node version manager. Correct. Let us now see for the Windows one. Okay. So there is no separate package that we'll do with it. There it is. This is one is the official site and we'll follow this one only. For Windows, this is the one. When we click latest installer, this page comes up, and this is it. We have to just download this one. Once we download, this .exe file will be downloaded, and like we do in Windows now. I'll go back, show you. I have taken the you yeah, have it over here. Okay, once we download this file, then regular next, yes, do the all the positive next step. And after that, if you write nvm command without restarting, it will not detect it. It will show uh, what we say internal external command. Nvm is not recognized by Windows command prompt. So for both the for all the OS Linux Mac Windows so we close it after installation and restart it after that we'll be we'll get something like that node version running version 1.1.7 so this basically means that now your terminal and command prompt knows about NVM so this is super easy first step is done 
now suppose you want to see a project we'll be obviously doing a project i'll be closing this now both the get so this is a project this is a basic uh nothing much fancy about this view but the important thing to note is this city okay, which is our core idea so now what i'm trying to say is let me go to the application this is a i'll show you the project directory structure so inside app.js this is our server page we have we are using express.js a package is used which fetches the this thing this guy random quotes okay but this is the city okay this is just a object it's written here itself now what important thing to note is this this route city route fetches the city but we are using question mark dot question mark dot way so this feature is called optional chaining and this comes with node version 14 and plus okay so if we are using version lower than node.js uh, 14 it will break for that terminal node.js application will break there correct so we'll be doing that now uh, okay so let's go ahead so what our prime focus is we'll be targeting two node version we'll take three also one is 18 and the second one is 12 okay let's include 8 also but the idea is it will work fine in 18 it will not work fine in 12 then again we'll switch back to 18 so idea is that we'll is we can easily switch node version so let us start mm -hmm. okay command wise everything is written here no need to so if you want to clone it just come over here this uh, one is clone link is shared get clone this one latize this github also so once we clone this up we have everything up we'll come to this site and we just need to run let me run node hyphen version so obviously one of the version will be installed in your system right let's uh, let's add be the latest version suppose you have been working in 12 it will be 12 if you are working in 18 it will be 18 now let us go to the interesting part Achha, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about optional chaining okay mm. Uh, without optional chaining we write like this city city dot person city dot person dot address we why do we write like this basically to prevent the breaking of the code right if some suppose this object doesn't come here i mean person is not there then it will not break the code so optional chaining does the same but it reduces the bytes and code is reduced just that we do the git clone and open it in your editor and in the terminal we write node mon app just the basic node.js server will come up now here's the button okay let me click this here you'll see list of versions we have no need to learn this decimal nvm automatically understands which version to pick up just the front part we have to write okay it is very short actually let me do it right away okay so the command is command is uh, i'll assume that i don't have node version 18 in my system nvm version 18 in my system okay and the first time we'll do what we write nvm install okay i'll be doing this only let me start uh, nvm install 18 so what it will be do what it will do it will install 18 see it is already installed in my system but it will download let me show you what it will show in your system nvm 
uninstall it in this will okay allow me a second please we'll all be learning this please give me one minute clear all this yeah nvm uninstall 18 i'm actually removing 18 okay it's gone now so first time when we'll do is this nvm install 18 it will come like this okay it will download it now you are using node version 18 now we want to use uh, it automatically switches the version but nvm is stored it now in that file dot nvmrc which we have created now let us install node version 12 also it is already there but node version 12 the error is we have to write nvm not npm Mm -hmm. it automatically automatically took this version and let me now take another version and clearing this console let us take i think eight one is the we'll take more older one nvm install it so what we basically done guys team is we are installing versions okay i need node.js 12 okay this project required 12 i've downloaded installed 12 i need 8 this project requires it i've installed this i need 18 which is the latest lte version okay i'll install this so what next the next thing is it is just installed version is not switched yet okay so suppose and we need to switch to version let's follow the documentation it's nvm use okay we'll come over here suppose we'll be doing now nvm use 12 this command simply means we have switched to node version 12 now let us run node hyphen v and my system says it's now version 12 now we have to start the application as well right nodemon app and the application have crashed node.js un is unable to understand node.js 12 is unable to understand this question mark dot okay so that is the reason why we use nvm because every project with some version something will come something will go right some enhancement will come something will deprecate so in 18 is suppose you think if we are using node.js 12 and in node.js 18 something has been reduced that time our application will crash so now let's switch back to the another version let me clear the console we have already installed over here right with npm nvm install we have installed the three version 18 12 and 8 now we'll be installing the other version nvm use i mean switching to the another version nvm use 18 <laughs> lots of theory right but i think it will be uh, very handy when you use it right let us switch back to the 18 right node is 18 now let's start our application and something got wrong that error got fixed okay this error i know this error is let me come over here take this this is actually my port is already blocked that is there What I'll do? I'll close this. Okay. 
paste this so our problem is solved this problem often comes when the port is in use and after that this one the instance of port is already in use therefore will be forcefully killing this pid which is running password error okay it's done now so nvm let's do our node version check it's 18 now node mon app and we see that our application is running now correct this one is the one so this is coming right now so when we were in 12 it was breaking let us again close it let us switch back to another version let's say nvm use 8 let us do node hyphen v we are switched to node version 8 now let us start the application node mon app it should break which is as expected yes so that is for this nvm let me go to the stable version first nvm use 18 and clear node mon app if port is in use it's up now correct so we now know that uh, we can easily switch version between the two so what are the things we have done it's simple first we have installed uh, I think for the first time you might think it's a lot of thing but it's quite simple when you do it the first step is we install nvm better irrespective of the os after that we just run this command nvm install and your favorite version the version you want to use 18 12 8 okay first command second command was that once it is done now we have to switch to another version right i'll attach this document in the video so nvm use 18 it switched to that nvm use 12 it switched to that so easily we can switch between the version the next thing is okay so it's done till now two more command left then it's 10. now think uh, what do you say you close it yeah i'll open another terminal let me close this okay now if we want to see what are the list of version installed we can do by this command nvm list okay so this will give us list of command already in system or not in system version 8 is installed version 12 is installed version 18 is installed now below they have given list of versions over there So this is there all the na ones are the version which we have not installed yet okay yes that's it nvm list or there's uh, another command nvm ls both are the same so it will list the commands which we need now suppose nvm ls will do now suppose we do not need eight anymore okay suppose this is a simple list three of them suppose you have installed lots of node version you have heavy projects 8 12 18 10 14 if your list is bigger and you want to remove some of them then we can easily do that by let me go to the documentation first if you want to delete this it is nvm uninstall node version where is my vs code Sir. nvm uninstall and which one we want to delete so let's say i'm not using eight enter it's gone now so whatever is gone will show any let us run the list again this time we'll see eight is any correct the other time i think it was green or blue it was not any Alright guys, that's all for this video.
I think we have covered all of it. So let me do a quick recap. So first thing is we have created dot if you are in a Mac or Linux, then we have to create one file which is dot nvmrc. Let it be empty. When we do this command, it will automatically fill over there. If you are a window person, if you are using in Windows, then we have to install that .exe file. This one we have installed. This will automatically create the .nvmrc file for you. Okay, that's all. Now once uh, the important step is after that, we need to close and restart the system again. That is required for that. Your, otherwise your terminal will show nvm not recognized. Okay. Now once you have cloned this project, it can be any project, but uh, the idea is some feature is supported in one version, some feature is not supported in another version. So we took optional chaining as the case. Now what we have to do? First step is to install a version. To install a version, it's a specific simple command. This is the command for it. Let me zoom it. NVM install your node version. You want to install 18, NVM install 18. If you want to install NVM 12, go 12. So based on your project requirement, you can install this version over here. Now, when we want to switch to another version, it's a simple command. We use right NVM use that version. Provided this should be installed. If we have not installed it, suppose you are trying to NVM use 10. Let me try NVM use 10 it will say not yet installed so we have to run that command and install nvm install 10 first okay so installing and switching node version is done now suppose your list grows and you want to remove some of them for, to refactor your list then we can easily do that by nvm uninstall command So we are end of a video now. So guys, this will help a lot when we are when you're working in production. It might be a simple video, but uh, what we need to understand is suppose if you're working in a production oriented project and you are actively working as a developer, then uh, if you're switching version, this might crash your system, right? Like uh, suppose you have done to 10. Uh, what do you say? You are in 12 and you need to upgrade to 18 then again back to 12. This will be a very quick process to switch version. Another alternative is dockerizing the application. That is something different but uh, that is architecture plan. But if you are in a non dockerized environment of the node then this is will be a savior for us. Alright guys thank you for watching this video. If you loved it, please like, share and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.